Welcome to the Deerfield Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. It's Thursday, June 13th. I'd like to remind everybody that the meeting is being taped. So our first uh, item is to review the minutes. We have two sets of minutes here to look over. If anybody has any changes that need to be made, um, take care of that. If not, we can make a motion to accept them. Everybody's uh, had an opportunity. Bob? You got down, I was present, but I wasn't participating on the March 7th on the hearing relative to Deerfield uh, Industrial. Right, in the, in the report it's, it shows who voted and who didn't. Okay, I just want to. Yeah. It says, you, it says that you recused yourself. Okay. Um, I just don't want to go to jail for that. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Uh, third paragraph down. down okay. else make somebody make a motion to accept the minutes motion to accept the minutes of April 11th and March 7th all those in favor aye aye opposed okay we'll note that the minutes from April 11th or March 7th and April 11th will be admitted so on um, Tonight's agenda. Well, before before I get to that, uh, members voting this evening: um, Bernie, uh, myself, Kathy, Rich, and we have need one more vote. We've got a couple of alternates. Does anybody not want to vote or have a reason to? No. No. Okay. Okay. You two decide. Well, yeah, Adam doesn't make a difference we'll to me. I'll okay. vote. There. I'll we'll vote. We can flip a coin. <laughs> Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay. okay. You got a coin? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I do. You got the double-headed coin or what? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll have to resort to something else. I don't yeah. have a coin. Oh, yeah. All, yeah. Right. All right, Bernie. All right. Bernie's got one. All right, call it in the air, Adam. Heads. It's tails. All right. So Bob will vote. Bob's voting. All right. Bernie thinks. Yep. Okay, so on the, agen on the agenda tonight is a um, application for the construction of a new addition and remodel of an existing garage construction of a new second floor bedrooms over existing garage and new first floor addition. And the applicant is requesting relief from sideline setback of 10 feet to 3 feet on a pre-existing grandfathered lot. So, um, Charles, Charles, yeah. if you'd like to come to the um, table and sure. state your name and sure. your address, and then you can yeah. fill us in on what you'd like to do. Yeah. Uh, my name is Charles Bader. Uh, a couple of years ago, my relationship with Guy and Sarah, who are the, uh, the owners of the property, uh, they, contract, they hired me to design a, a remodel of their 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 home, which they had recently uh, purchased, um, which I did, and then they contacted me recently because they would wanted to add on to the to the same building, and would I would I do the plans for them? They said yes, I would, and um, but we and we looked at where they ideally would like to to locate um, the new addition. And it, uh, the location uh, um, uh, does not meet the, the setback requirements, which is the reason for our application for the special permit. Um, uh, so uh, we're, you know, we're you know, presenting our, our plans and our, you know, our proposal uh, to you uh, tonight. At the, at the, we, we initially presented this request back on March, March 21st. Um, at that time, um, you know, I presented the material at that time, uh, but as Guy and, Audrey, uh, Guy and Sarah were away, uh, when it became clear that if um, it was put to the vote and it was, it was voted down, uh, we would not have uh, the opportunity to, to represent it for a two-year interim, two I believe. Yes. And so 
not being able to consult with Guy and Sarah at that time, it was not a decision I wanted to, to take on my own. And so we withdrew without prejudice. Uh, so we're now, which is one of the reasons why we're, we're representing the proposal because uh, Guy and Sarah are able to, uh, uh, to be present and to, to speak uh, to their own case. Um, I'm more here as the initial applicant and also to answer any, you know, um, any technical questions that might be pertinent to the, to the application since I'm going to be hopefully responsible for uh, designing their edition for them. And, you know, my role is uh, I'm a designer and a builder, and so I'm, I'm, the, I'm the kind of structural and, you know, building end of the, of the, uh, of the application. Um, and and it's, um, but it's, it's, it's fairly simple edition. It just, you know, it didn't meet the setback requirements. Um, uh, having... Uh, being in this profession and the trade uh, for many decades, um, I'm aware of how boundaries and property lines uh, can become can become issues, and, and but these are they vary very much from location uh, to location. Um, this particular location where they're planning to build looks out on a large, they're neighbors, but it's surrounded on all sides by, by open meadow, open fields, open farmland, none of which I believe is ever going to be developed in, in the future. So there's plenty of space, uh, albeit uh, constrained by, by property lines around the building. There's not, there aren't really any, any physical limitations. Uh, there's not a, there are no encroachments on uh, any neighbor or butter's privacy, so uh, th th those are just the characteristics of, of this of this project. So, um, so that's about as much as I can I can information I can give you, other than, other than anything specific you might want to know about the uh, about the about the, st the structure. Um, um, so, that's my contribution at this okay. point. Thank you. Yep. Any questions. What's the application is for uh, hardship? That's correct. Do you have anything to support the hardship? Um, I think I would like to invite um, you know Guy and Sarah as the owners, uh, as the family members, uh, to, to speak to that, uh, to speak to that issue. Okay. Just before you leave, so what is the uh, distance from the property line now? It's non-conforming. Mm -hmm. It's currently from the corner of the existing garage. It's four feet. Okay, so it's currently four feet. Correct. And so yeah. you're proposing that it become three. It's going to be three well, feet. Well, be, be, um, the existing building and the property lines are not parallel. They are. They're at angles. They're at a okay. slight angle. I have a, a plan I can show you. That would be excellent. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as they as we go out. Um, the we're just trying to get I'm just trying to get an idea if it's going to be more non-conforming or the same By amount of, of non okay it's going to be yeah. a, a foot more yeah so okay. so here's the here's the existing building and, and, and the dash line so the distance at this corner to the property line is 4.1 feet as we if we build the addition mm -hmm. see how they because it's tapered, that offset becomes 3.1 feet. So the how many feet is that extended for? Um, it is 18, 18 feet. Right. So, so we change the offset of the building. And basically run the property line right out. Well, it's at the right point there, that at right the there, point that we end. The addition, the offset is 3.1 feet. And what's this right here? Is this something that's existing? No, this is the proposed. Okay, what's this right here? Sorry. Oh, that's just the lines. That's just measurements. Okay. This is the dimension. This okay. is the. This is the. This is the proposed. So 3.1. So yes, we change the, the the distance from the 
from the existing building to the proposed addition from by a foot. So four, it was, it's four foot. Would you, would you so run out another 20 feet against the property line? But it doesn't get closer then. Uh, no, it's, it's um, see, his existing is attached right. to it. Well, this, see, this, is, this is right now is only 20 feet non-conforming, right? Mm -hmm. And you add another 18 feet. 18 feet non-conforming. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Just and, and so at that point, the offset becomes 3.1 feet. So right. we get a foot. We have a 10 foot. Correct. Side yard set that right. currently. Yes. That's the bylaw. Yeah. And this was, you know, pre existing. Well, I understand. Okay. 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 That was helpful. Thank you. Okay. But there's 30 feet on the other side of the house. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. But you're going to be building uh, the additional square footage on that first floor level is how much? It's 18 by 22. Sure. So that's significant. 400 square feet. Correct. If my math is right, but I went to Frontier, so. Yes. Can you see this? No, but I could have. And you're doing a second story on top of something? Yes, so the first floor addition extent, this is the first floor addition, then on top of the this the existing garage and the new and the addition, addition is a second is story. Is a second story. Full story? Yeah. So you right, we don't have we don't have it designed yet. Okay. So it so possibly we don't stories. want to make it any taller mm -hmm. than we need it to be. It doesn't necessarily. The current house has, is within the rooms are within the roof. So there's inside the rooms. There's a knee wall. It's not. A, it's not a full second story. How wide is the existing house? I thought so, but I just wanted to see where. Yeah, it's probably I don't know, 22, 24 feet, something like wide. that. Wide. Correct. So the most you could probably have would be a 10 pitch on that roof. It's yeah. probably less. Yeah. Because you're only 22 feet. Yeah. I know my house is 24 feet wide, mm -hmm. and the best we could do was a 10 pitch. Mm -hmm. That was yep. 1970. Yeah. Um, yeah and, well, a, and the inside height is only a little over seven feet. Yeah. Well, sometimes you just get what you get. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Does that clarify your But it, it what is the reason you cannot relocate these bedrooms on the other side of the property where you have 30 feet between your property line? Because we, we just built a new addition on that side that has windows looking to the, to the north. Uh, the, the land um, uh, slopes away down to the driveway. Uh, the master bedroom is on that end of the building, whereas the children's bedroom is on the south end. So. I think both both practically and logistically, it's not a good it's not a good fit. The bathroom. Yeah, may we jump in? Certainly, if you're well, hearing table. Like yeah, up. please come up sure, and then yeah. uh, slowly say your names because I've got a short. Sure. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, I'm Guy Ardry. Sarah Ardry, thank you. Um, no, I, I, it, the the whole reason we were considering this is because we have young kids. Um, and when we, um, we bought the house about five years ago, um, and we needed to, and when we uh, renovated it before we moved in, um, the layout called for a certain, you know, the bedrooms for the kids, and they're pretty small. Um, and the kids are older now, um, and they're growing, and, they're, uh, and we'd like them to have some space to have friends over and have a little bit more of a bedroom. Um, so the only, um, real option for us from the way that the house is situated is um, with the driveway where it is yeah with the driveway where it is and also with just the layout of the house and where the kitchen is and, and the, um, that the side where we actually have room to build um, just it wouldn't work for what we were hoping to do for um, for bedrooms for the kids so um, so we started thinking we have this, um, this sort of old shed garage um, on a certain footprint 
and we were under the impression that we could build on that. Um, and then the, what we were hoping was to, can we extend further backwards from that? Um, it's going away from the street in any view. Um, the only real view of it would be from the farm next door um, as far as different size um, of the current structure. Um, so anyway, uh, ultimately it's, we just were a growing family and we would love to have the kids have some bigger bedrooms. And uh, the only place where we can do that would be on a second floor above the garage in that spot. Anything else to add? Um, just that that was also the closest to an existing bathroom in the structure. So there isn't a need for a new bathroom um, building onto the other side, as, as we were talking about before, the potential of that would mean another bathroom in that area, too. So we were trying to limit the plumbing. And we've talked, well. we've talked it over with the, with the neighbors. Um, Historic Deerfield owns the house, um, and Phil Zay, who's the head of Historic Deerfield, lives in that house. Um, I, I can let, they have a representative here tonight, um, so I, I don't want to speak for them, but all the conversations with Phil have been encouraging. Uh, certainly question, you know, making sure we have it clearly staked out where the property line is. But um, we've had no, uh, we've had nothing but encouragement from the neighbors as far as going forward with something like this. Um, but yeah, but ultimately it's just for, uh, for, um, for the kids. Well, I, I remember Phil Zay was here, and uh, he didn't have any particular opposition to your folks in general, but he did say that he was concerned about the setbacks as a general thing in historic Deerfield. Mm -hmm. That, you know, their, their position was that the houses should stay, you know, spread to the town bylaw. If I, if I remember what he said correctly. I think that's what he said. I wasn't yeah. here that yeah. night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the existing building that's there right now is a dilapidated garage, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Does it have a concrete foundation or what does it have? Uh, yes, it has a concrete foundation. So it is a substantial structure? Yes. Yeah. And it was all built 100 years ago? No, the house was built in the 50s. Yeah. Um, and... Um, I think that part was added on though, The um, at least one of the... There are two bays, bays the to the garage. garage, and I think the before we owned it, the one closest to the house is the is the older one of the two, and then the second bay was built was added on. And I think you might have mentioned that it was a. When I can approach this being like that. Yeah. Did you consider um, keeping it at four foot one inches away, just so it wouldn't be more non-conforming? Well, we we want to keep the same. We don't want to go further than the current existing. Um, structure, um, so we're, we would want to just keep that same footprint that already exists, but just take it further back. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we approached Historic Deerfield about buying six feet of land to, mm -hmm. to make it conforming, but, um, but they didn't want to do that. Um, so um, the um, yeah, so it basically it's just taking that line straight back because uh, you want to use the same. Foundation or? Um, well, we want to use as much as we can, yeah. and we have that footprint. Yeah. And then we would just continue it further backwards. Yeah. Because up. Because uh, it kind of angles, but you, you didn't want to angle it to keep it. Well, there's. I, I, it's about a foot or two difference between the front of the mm -hmm. existing structure and the back of the um, proposed structure in relation to the property line. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, I guess in theory we could angle it a little bit, um, but it just you know to keep proportions with the house and, and keeping all the lines straight, it would it would be sure. slightly sure. not parallel to the property sure. line. Um, if if you if you paralleled the property line, would you still need to be here for? Yeah, because it would be new, new yeah. It, it would Based be, it'd still be non-conforming, right. but wouldn't be more non-conforming. Yeah. I was just trying to get an idea. Well, it, it is more non-conforming because it's taking no, it is up now, an additional. But if, if they had, right. but it would be gotcha. 
looking at an additional 400 square feet, we're going to be consumed Good point. within that area. Yeah. And I still think that there's a legal issue that we can even, even grant the permit if we wanted to. Well, no, you can't make a non-conforming lot more non-conforming. Yeah, right. that's against the law. Unless so, there's a yeah. extenuating circumstance right. or a, a, a hardship. Or, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to take into consideration. Uh, is it but the existing footprint? Am I? Are we correct in thinking that? I mean, that that's. Grandfathered in, I guess. It's grandfathered, yeah. grandfathered, and it's non-conforming, and and it's okay the way it is. But to make it more non-conforming, by we, making it bigger, higher, and yeah, closer, and closer. Okay. Yeah, that's where the problem is. Okay. I was just thinking of the closer, but you're right. If, if it's longer too. But um, I, I don't know if he could. He might be. I don't think he could put three floors in it though. Right. He can't exceed 35 feet, but I don't think the zoning allows the third floor. No, we would only, the only way they could come up with 400 square feet. We would only propose to keep the same roof line yeah, as the existing house. I heard your architect say <laughs> that, <laughs> but I'm just trying to think of what Other ways creative you can. creative ways to do it, get around it. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you built a freestanding addition on the other side where your master bedroom is, you've got 30 feet there between the property lines. You know, you. Granted, you'll have to put another bathroom in probably, and and you'll, you know, but you have the ability to to put a structure that size on that. It's just not as convenient, especially because of the view you've got of the meadow. Am I right? Uh, not I as much of a it. view thing. It's more the uh, it's more the layout the way it is now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, it's in a. It's an aesthetic thing too. The, the garage isn't particularly attractive, and uh, the view from the street, although you can't really see it from the street because it's set back from Old Main Street, but um, uh, it, you know, I think the idea would just to, to take an old shed garage and make it look like a nice. I haven't you know, been up through there in a number of years, to, but I'm trying to visualize the square house that the Yaswinski's lived in for years and a dairy barn out back. Mm -hmm. What side are, are you on? Of We're that? on the north mm -hmm. side of that. You're on the north side. Yeah. yeah. There used to be a building at one time on the right side when you went in. So you're right up in that area somewhere. But you're further back. We're set back from, yeah, yeah. from Old Main Street. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think I... There's a yellow house, which is the, the historic Deerfield house. Okay. That's between the Yaswinski's farm and our driveway. Come and on. your driveway is on the Yaswinski side or? No, um, it's on the north, north side. North side right. of that, yeah. And you spoke, up, oh, sorry. I don't go up there for that often, so yeah. I should have driven up there today. Yeah. Who did you speak with about buying land? Uh, with Phil Zag, and I think he ran it by brought the, it to the board. The board. The structure. Just uh, even a, just a portion of it. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it goes again. I mean, I'm sure you can talk about this, okay. but it's, it, okay. I think it goes against their policy right now about but any any land that they're mm -hmm. asked for, um, it's a precedent for hmm. their entire philosophy of. Well, they don't the make any more. Debbie, of it speak up about there. that. It's <laughs> not like you can insert a piece of land. That's true. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready to speak? Yeah. We're very patient. Thank you. I'm Deborah Coleman, and I'm here to represent Historic Deerfield. Coleman? K-A-L-L-M-A-N. K-A-L-L-M-A-N. Okay. Yes. And I'm the Chief Financial Officer and Assistant Treasurer of oh. Historic Deerfield. She's got the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Phil, he's not opposed to an addition, but he has concerns about the property line. And a variance was granted, he thinks, back in the 1960s to build or extend and add another bay to the garage. Um, in terms of selling the property, they're absolutely right. We are not in a position to sell. The board does not want to sell any part of the property. And further, I could add that lot four, which is where this sits, and I think maybe the Yaswinski's farm might have part of lot four. Actually, in 1785, was um, there was a very historical uh, act or that was held there. And so that's really part of the reason we don't want to sell. It's historical property. We don't want to sell our, you know, what we have, our property. 
And uh, basically, back in 1785, there was an event of some historical significance that did take place in that area. Well, I've lived here all my life, but I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't? <laughs> yes. So they did get a variance once before? Yes. Do you have back, a copy? To build the second, I don't have a copy. Phil was briefing me yesterday, but he said that he, there was a variance he understood was granted to build, a, add a second bay onto the garage. How good are you at the uh, research on MassLatinRecords.com to see if you could find it? Well, I'm pretty good. You want to look? Right now? Yeah. Not so much. <laughs> All right. Every time I go to get on it, I can't get on it, so. If I go home and get on the laptop, I can find it eventually. <laughs> so there's already been a variance, and a variance was granted for the garage. Is, is that what he That is him? Phil's understanding, yes. And that is where they event, went within three feet of the line at that time. Correct. That's my understanding. Well, I think the, the current distance from the property line is about five feet. He said it was a foot longer than the three one that you're asking for. Um, Something like that. No. Um, survey, is it four feet? Um, four, yeah, four feet. <laughs> At the narrowest end, it might be five feet. Yeah. Well, one thing that Phil was concerned with as well is that the survey is not based on the topography of the land, it's based on the map. And that's a concern too, is you know, having a survey that would be based actually on the topography as opposed to just points on a map. Is this survey by a registered land surveyor? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay but it doesn't have any topographical information. Right or wrong. You're an expert at this stuff. So was that part of the fort that they used to? Where was the fort in Old Airfield? Um, well, what he was saying is that basically there was a meeting of some approximately, he thinks, 200 people. It was Governor Belcher, um, the military, the Governor's Council, and 40 Native American tribes that converged in this area and, I don't, and signed an agreement that prevented further hostilities. Very interesting reading that. Yeah, history I think it was pretty fascinating, actually. So I think it comes of it. We need to, you know, we it, we take it as our part of our mission to preserve the land to the extent that we can. We got to wait for Bernie to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I remember at the last the last time we were looking at this, somebody had brought up the point that if a fence was put up and somebody needed to put a ladder up to paint or do any maintenance on the addition, it was really tight, mm -hmm. even for a lawnmower to get down through. So that, I remember that point being brought up. take us hours to find that variance. Because you gotta find out who owned the property at that time to be able to look it up that way. That still doesn't really excuse me? That, but that still doesn't really give us the okay to make the oh, I agree with you. or not conforming, whether somebody told them they could put another garage addition on that. 
Yeah. Where are we? You, Mr. Oh, yeah. thank you. Okay. Any questions? More questions? Notes for Thank you for your information. Yeah, thank you. So I guess before I close the, the meeting to the public and we go to a vote, I can offer you the same um, um, opportunity to... Are we going to discuss it first, close it and discuss we'd it? We'd have to close okay. it. Okay. But I wanted well, to let them know before. Once I close the meeting and we start discussing and go to a vote... Um, it would be too late. It's too late to withdraw it if you so true. want to explore more options, um, change that boundary going back. I know you expressed why you wanted to keep it the way you did. Um, because from our standpoint, like I said already, we can't rightfully make it not more non-conforming than it already is. And the fact that it was grandfathered, it's non-conforming, that kind of has to be left alone. We can't go and make it more non-conforming. We just can't, unless there's extenuating circumstances or a, a, a hardship. If we kept the same, <clears throat> so we're under, how do you understand that it's, they're not parallel? So they're, when you say more non conforming you mean it would be get closer than the current four feet that it is from right, the, because you, so at the, at the back end of it, it would be closer than that. Right, that's and what I'm length. Yeah. If we, if we, if it got no closer than the existing four feet, would that, yeah, it says here relief from sideline setback of 10 feet to 3 feet. Yes, uh, if it makes any, any difference, absolutely we would lose a foot. I have one question. Sure. Did you explore with the historic Deerfield of swapping them square footage for square footage where you could give them more land in the back to so that they could convey you uh, the existing 400 square feet that you need, or roughly that, along your where you want to do your addition, and maybe give them 400 feet of, or 800 feet back further, mm -hmm. and sort of some swap for swap. But I'm not saying it's all, it's all equal. But did you explore the possibility of doing that with them? We have not explored the possibility of swapping land, but my hunch is that that. I don't think they are too interested in it. I don't know. I mean, I'm just yeah. saying that uh, you may have a piece of property back here that's of more interest to them than what you think it might be, especially yeah. if something significant happened on that site. I'm yeah. just exploring yeah. that one. That's a great idea. Yeah. But no, we have not explored that. Do you have any sense uh, of, of that as, a, as an option? But I think adding on into that area at all, the length, even if you stay four feet, is still making, in my opinion, making the lot more non-conforming. Okay. Yeah, we, have, we we would have to st we would have to keep the, the square foot. How many square feet? Yeah, beyond that. Set back four hundred. Okay. So, so they're they're doing the garage, and then right. four or more. Right. So they would have to move it to well, the middle. Well, it'll be if, if we withdraw without middle, prejudice at this point. So you have to I don't see that in there. Would you come to that? Then it's a wash. I just want to make sure I totally understand. I see what you're saying, but I just want to make sure that I understand. If they vote on it, then you can do your more. So this is the key basis. No matter what they do, they have to be tended to the line. Right. From here back. This is the existing house. My hunch is that. I thought this was the garage. The garage is in front. The so they're going to first they're apparently going to that garage and historical up. event and happened back. right there. So this is all they're going to want to protect the land right there behind so the garage. So land for their land for their back. Right. 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 So, so that area right outside the garage, mm -hmm. I think it's more is not where that event both ways. supposedly both ways. took place. So all it's this square footage um, is not so. So even if you just you have to move it over. Yes, full full ten foot setback to be to be back. Not one foot. One foot wouldn't make a difference. Yeah. You'd still be non-conforming. Well, I can't speak for that. In my opinion. Yeah. In your opinion. Non-conforming. Because we've had other cases come up where it was, it's when something wasn't one. 
Right, but a lot of places are on conforming lots of separate. But this wasn't. I, I'm not. I guess the theory we can pull it and try that, but I'm not optimistic. I mean, we have that the board of circuit of that's The other option what is catches me is what you said about the bylaw where it's so against the bylaw. Conforming. Because we have a lot of Which say that we'll interpret bylaws. Mm -hmm. so I, I we, we, I don't know what this bump out is, but if you brought that over, take it. You brought this out here 10 feet. We just have to. So from the property. Whatever the new. So this was 10 feet out, and this was 10 feet out here. Parallel. You know, just no to make that, and you gave them a, and they gave them a section like that. Out of it, yeah, or whatever, or, 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 or you know, if we redesign yeah, it that way, yeah. then they would, any sort of and they got double the square footage, yeah. We, no, but yeah, it would have more than to keep the same footprint. I don't know if it would well, have you, over 60,000 square feet at that point, this, this right, which is what yeah. Adam's yeah. point is. All right, I don't know. This thing's only got 48 feet, if I read it right. Here's what we we were proposing, and you know, it would, would not, it, it couldn't be as, it couldn't be as wide. We'd yeah, have to make it's it not narrower. Gonna come this way, John. And then, and then less, uh, right. And the jog right now, yeah, we're, they could, we're about less historic you know, deer four feet, um, so I mean, piece 10 of feet. So it would have to <laughs> I don't think that's this right. 22 feet. So if we brought it in by six feet, or six so. feet mm -hmm. and then go, it would be, have to be reduced to uh, you know, 16 feet. But there's no, Second story on that. That's not effective. I thought that we were going to do a second story on, yeah, the, yeah, on the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's not going to be possible to have that intersection. It would make it more difficult. Yeah, well, it's not. It would be hard to pull off. Because we'd have to go into this part of the room. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But, I mean, that's, but that's, I mean, w their decision doesn't impact that. so. I don't know whether we can do that right. anyway. Uh, if, they, if they vote this down, mm -hmm. it means you can't resubmit for a special permit. Yeah. But you can. But if we redesigned that, then. Then it's. Then it doesn't it just, yeah. we just make so it. Getting make turned it. down wouldn't impact that. No. Yeah. Is that correct? If we, if we ask you to vote on the, on the current mm -hmm. plan, right. it gets denied. We can redesign the. We can design it so it's conforming, and then we, there's no reason for. It's for the variance, right. it's requirements. It require so, a variance. So it wouldn't. It wouldn't affect. Right. Yeah. But putting a second story above the existing footprint, would that need to be approved? Well, it has to do with square footage. I think the building inspector could help you through that process okay. with. Okay. What you're required, what you're allowed to do. But you can sit with the building inspector, and go through all the scenarios to try to figure out what he can do statutorily wise so you don't have to come for a permit okay but he has some you know he has those decisions uh i hear rumors that there's going to be a new building inspector appointed next week though um, so but i thought dick was going to be here tonight but i, I don't see him but he did leave comments did you want to read them yeah, read them. You can read them aloud. Okay. This is from Mr. Kalaszewski, the current building commissioner. RA zoning requires 200 feet of frontage, 60,000 square feet lot is non-conforming, does not meet the requirements for a variance. Self-corrugated hardship. Self-created, I guess. A little hard to read. Board should proceed with caution. Proceed with yeah. caution. Mm, we got uh, from our term town administrator, but checked off here from the select board. Uh, concern that there is no hardship. Lot would be even further non-conforming. No hardship. Setbacks are too small for variance. That's from the board of selectmen. From there, in terms of administrator. The rest, they didn't have. The rest were no comments on uh, the other boards. Do we, do we have the assessor's card there? By any chance? The assessor's uh, card. Oh, but they wrote no comment on there. No, but I just wonder what the card said. Because um, normally on a card, it'll tell you if there's been a variance granted. Because, yeah, um, because if we swap land, if we end up having an agreement there. Well, the assessor's card tells you all about the problem. And then 
We'll regardless give you the book and the page number. Not, and uh, if it turns down, we're still going to be able to build it jogging in like that. Might be there somewhere. So it doesn't really make a difference. Karen usually prints them out. I think this is from this is signed from Karen right here. All right. Is that the? So I think. The good. assessor's card. Does that sound okay? I'm, I'm looking at it. This is signed by Karen. Yeah. It doesn't have anything about the previous. It has the. It doesn't have any previous. All right. I'll keep looking here. Hey, would you like to proceed? Yeah. If you have, I, yes, we would. I, I think the. Um, we will separately explore the idea of swapping with historic Deerfield, but that wouldn't your decision wouldn't have any bearing on that because we would then have the right amount of property. Okay. Um, but as far as this project goes, um, not being able to build along that same line going back would make it very hard for us to put two bedrooms there because mm -hmm. uh, it would cut into that back part too much. Yeah. So, um, so yes, I think um, the whole project sort of is based upon getting the variance on that. So we would, we would like a decision. Okay, so at this time I'll close the meeting, uh, 7.40 p.m. and uh, open up to any discussion here. Comments? Or anybody, any additional comments? Concerns? I uh, no? don't think the applicant's demonstrated a, a substantial hardship. Okay. And he has, right. he has means of uh, putting a, a, an 800 square foot or a 400 square foot addition on the property. You know, but mm -hmm. two stories, so it's actually 800 square feet, mm -hmm. right? right? I think he has the alternative of putting it on the other side. It's not the most aesthetic or what have you, but he right. has the ability to right. to do that. Prepared to vote? Okay. Everybody prepared to vote? Bob? I move we deny the variance. Nice. Rich? Yes, I agree. To deny? Yes. Kathy? Yes, deny. Me as well, deny. Bernie? Adams abstain. Also deny. Deny, okay. Okay, well, unanimous vote to deny the um, application for the uh, variance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, yeah. you're welcome. Um, at this time, I don't have any um, new correspondence Thank you. Uh, or mail. Sorry. There's nothing in there, is there? No, but I want to look for that sheet where we vote. We write our votes. Yep. That is so. Before, we, before mm -hmm. anybody leaves. That was in an orange folder. The, uh, that orange folder. Right there's there. something yeah. coming up with the... Uh, this one the planning board is going to change some zoning bylaws. Oh, I have it right here. You have, have you got any correspondence on that? Oh, no, I meant I had the voting thing. No, no, but on the, uh, they're supposed to be changing some of the zoning bylaws. Did you see anything in there that? Oh, they have to have a public hearing for that, right? Yeah, but I think it's next week. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, well, I haven't got any emails from anybody. I don't think that. I might be able to find it on the board. Okay, there you go. Just pass it around. Oh, he's with me today. He's all right. Good kid. He's having fun. Yeah. I shouldn't say he's fun. He's, it's a learning experience. He told me. Yeah. He says he's not uh, so much different than he thought it was going to be. Yeah, it is. It is. Sign it yet or not yet. not yet? Okay. So, and the Just top part the as far as findings, because it was we had pretty detailed, we are saying that there was no hardship. No hardship. It was an inconvenience, not a hardship.
six new people. There's at least going to be some more openings, I guess. But yeah, we get two, we're lucky we get two older UMass guys. So yeah, they're yeah. 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 One was a retired lieutenant, the other one's a retired yeah. sergeant. Yeah, so okay. I'm just, I was just going to write this. Yeah. To people that have experience yeah. and age, and then with new guys, new, new people too. So. So we have no new business and no um, mail to review. So Bob, Bob looked to look at to see if there's a planning board posting on zoning bylaw changes. Oh, oh, oh that's where he went. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 So maybe we should all make a concerted effort to review the bylaw changes. Is is that what you're suggesting? Well, you know what the gist of it is? Well, the water and the conservation issues, et cetera, it's going to make a lot, make properties harder to develop. And so then we'll need Commercial to, some, if whatever passes, we'll have to update our. Oh, yeah. But there's a public hearing, I think it's next week. I can't read it. It's, it's on the board this Is this side. the same bylaw that was put in, in, in illegally into the town meeting? I don't think so. That was different. That was different. That was pretty. Expensive. And that was screwy because actually they were making it. The developer could do much more, which was the opposite effect hmm. they wanted. I understand. You know what? They forgot this, but I'll just put it without a file. Okay. Motion to adjourn. You know me to sign nothing. Yes, I do. Did you not? No, because I left. That's right. Here you go, sir. Second the motion to adjourn. All those in favor. All right. All right. Vote. Okay. Um, motion to adjourn at 746. All right. Thanks a lot.